I signed up for an, an English literature course taught by a teacher named Bob Kitson. And uh, he, he turned me around. Uh, and I think in me he recognized a case where we had a young man who could go either way. And if you had told me a year prior when I was working out with a football team and uh, going out late at night to any number of dives along the Jersey Shore, that this guy would have me uh, reading philosophy and Immanuel Kant and Machiavelli and, and r reading great pieces of work, I wouldn't have believed you. He employed the technique used by all of our great teachers. He, he used the germ of an idea, the excitement of learning, personal betterment in, in the right vehicle. He saw someone, I guess, with willingness, and uh, at that point he couldn't have seen too much talent or intellect, I assure you. Uh, but he taught it in such a way, with such enthusiasm and excitement. And of course, he took the time to care enough to take me on as a project. He laid down that foundation in my life. And I think, were it not for him, I wouldn't have become a serious thinker in life. Every person like me, there are others walking around, maybe it was a police officer, maybe it was a teacher, in so many cases it is because of the intimacy of the relationship, because of their influence on our lives. I'm surprised in our, in our society, which is so much about instant gratification, uh, that more people haven't discovered that mentoring is where to find that. Because when you look at the excitement in a young person's eyes about a thought just imparted, or a passion just just passed on. When you're brimming with enthusiasm for a topic and you get a young convert, uh, you know, game over, uh, victory, lesson learned.